let's just, I guess, big picture for the audience. Give me like the, the top level. What is Intaker? What does it do? And then we'll talk about how you are different and like your value props versus some of the competitors. Love it. Uh, Intaker is growth automation technology. Website chat is what we are best known for, but it's growth automation for law firms specifically. Everything from their marketing to their intake uh, in terms of conversion tools to not just get those leads. But let me walk it back because th there's a couple of, of things that I know are really frustrating for a lot of the attorneys out there who might be trying to aggressively market online or tr have tried different strategies. And I know that when you get people in the door and they turn out to be low quality leads, but they're already in your system, they're already taking resources, your, your staff, uh, time spent talking to these people and the, 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 the drag that that can put on the entire operation when you're trying to grow, it can get frustrating. So to your point, Chris, yeah, conversions is one thing, but signing cases is, is a, a different skill set, I would say for a technology. And so, you know, one, one of the things that, uh, I know we're keeping this high level, but one of the things that Intaker tries to do very differently than a lot of other live chats and other tools out there is qualify and advance every potential client that walks in the door. And it's different for every you know practice area, even different depending on the state you live in for something like personal injury. But if you can get the right information up front and then use intelligent tools, which I'll get to a little bit of where we're going, what we're building, um, you know, to help make sure that you're only focusing on the right potential cases for your firm. You know, I'm sure when you're doing SEO, it's you're, you're getting a mix of results. But how can you go ahead and make sure that in like the different spread of leads, you can really focus on the ones that matter. But more importantly, how do you see those first? How do you see those early? And how do you make sure that if you're getting a potential case from SEO, they don't call someone else, but they talk to you first. And using technology and tools to make that a lot easier than it used to be. That's what we've built so far. That's also where we're continuing to build. So I'm excited. This is a good time. I'm going to tell you some uh, some exciting stuff here in a bit, but let's go. <clears throat> so so thank you for that. So you've got you know over a thousand firms using your tool. And you're getting this constant feedback loop of between the agencies, the firms, the just the, the, the tool and advancing and improving it. You know, so the first thing is tell me the difference in like, you know, the logic based intake versus the live rep versus the maybe the generative AI that people are trying to go to. Like, tell me the differences and how kind of you're managing that pre qualification at the very beginning. Good question. Good question. So uh, I'll put the gen AI on the side for now and I'll focus on. Uh, you know, the chat automation that Intaker uses versus a typical live chat, which I know there's still a lot of loyalty and a lot of appreciation and a lot of, you know, uh, firms who are, who are who are getting results doing that. So uh, not to disparage, but, but rather to, to show what the difference is, right? Uh, Intaker is chat automation, not true AI in the chat. It is a rules-based approach, but something that, for example, if you, let's say, a visitor lands on a website and it's a personal injury firm and you know they have the little intaker video which we'll talk about in a bit but some of those options for uh to begin to engage would speak more to the needs of that individual now what that really looks like is if someone was you know in a accident with a tractor trailer or or if they were just in a normal fender bender car accident or if they were in uh, you know, a uh, grocery store and there was a mess and they slipped and fell, whatever it is, kind of that, that case type up front is usually what's going to get their attention. Being able to go ahead and, and select at that initial outset of a case type, getting the basic information that you would always need to uh, make sure you can get in touch with this person, contact, but the qualifying details are going to be different, right? For a car accident versus a dog bite versus a slip and fall, et cetera. And so when you have a rules-based approach, chat automation like Intaker, what you can do is basically go through step-by-step step and get all of those qualifying questions the same way that your intake person might ask on the phone, right? About what was the 
uh, when did this accident take place? You know, were you hurt with the other person? Tell me about your injuries, right? Did you get any care, any medical care after the accident, right? What happened? And so all of that information that typically your intake person might get on that initial phone call, you can get in advance through the chat without having to worry about someone taking the conversation off the rails. Because let me pause and say, you know, what makes this different than both a traditional live agent as well as some of the generative AI chat tools that are out there now? Um, so a traditional live agent would do much, you know, the same in terms of pre-qualifying, capturing lead information. But the difference is that the user being able to chat freely can kind of take the conversation wherever they want to go. The difference with Intaker and other tools like it is being able to um, carve that journey in advance. So when someone begins that interaction, 60 seconds later, 30 seconds later, whatever it is, they're going to have given or been asked to give all of the right information that the law firm needs to pre-qualify the case without having to worry about, you know, is there something here or is there not? And calling people back when it's, you know, a maybe situation you're not clear and it winds up eating up your receptionist or your intake person's 20, 30 minutes on the phone. Uh, these are small things, but they grow into big things over time. And so that's kind of the one of the, the earliest problems that we sought to uh, solve with the technology. And just a quick note on the other generative AI, I've seen really cool stuff using that for like FAQs, summarizing, you know, uh, content on websites. But when it comes to conversions, when it comes to getting interested folks in the door, we've got something you can help them with. The generative AI is not really the best tool for the job. And in, in my experience, from what I've seen in, 